Welcome to this Pearl of Laboratory Medicine brought to you by AACC and the Clinical Chemistry Trainee Council. View this and many more pearls as well as other free educational material at traineecouncil.org. Hello, my name is Dustin Strasberg. I am a development technologist for the Human Cellular Therapy Laboratory at Mayo Clinic. Welcome to this Pearl of Laboratory Medicine on the enumeration of SKU34 positive hematopoietic progenitor cells by flow cytometry. Hematopoietic progenitor cells, or HPCs, are used to reconstitute hematopoiesis following marrow ablative therapies. Traditional colony forming assays take 10 to 14 days and are thus irrelevant when immediate assessment of HPC products such as apheresis is necessary. Flow cytometry assays were developed to enumerate CD34 positive HPCs to quickly determine the potency of a collected HPC product. However, these cells are rare events which may be masked by nonspecific or interfering populations. Furthermore, various methodologies led to a wide range of recommended CD34 values needed for long-term engraftment. In 1995, the International Society of Hematotherapy and Graft Engineering, ISAGE, developed a simple and sensitive method that utilized the CD34 antigen and several other characteristics. By using only four parameters and sequential gating to minimize interference, this assay can be performed by most routine clinical flow cytometry laboratories. The ISAGE criteria for CD34 positive HPCs includes expression of the CD34 antigen, expression of the CD45 antigen, but characteristically at lower levels, low side scatter, and low to intermediate forward scatter. The scatter properties are similar to, but slightly higher than small lymphocytes, which can be useful in accurate gating of small populations. Furthermore, a viability marker such as 7-amino actinomycin, or 7-AED, allows for the exclusion of dead cells while fluorescent counting beads with a known concentration are used to determine an absolute concentration of CD34 positive HPCs. The first gate is set around the white blood cells, which are CD45 positive. This gate excludes CD45 negative contaminants, such as platelets, platelet aggregates, non-lysed red blood cells, and other debris. It should not exclude CD45 dim events, as this would exclude potential HPCs prior to further analysis. A gate is set around the lymphocyte cluster to be used later. Using the white blood cell events, a gate is set around all potential CD34 positive events. Looking at only the CD34 positive events, the target cell population can be identified more easily. A gate is placed around the cell cluster. This cluster exhibits lower CD45 expression than typical white blood cells. It also exhibits low side scatter, similar to lymphocytes. Utilizing the scatter properties of the lymphocytes gated earlier, a mirrored gate is set around the HPC population. In this example, there are a large number of HPC events. However, many times this population is more diffuse and not as easily identified. Events falling within this gate exhibit all four parameters to be classified as CD34 positive hematopoietic progenitor cells. Fluorescent counting beads can be assessed with any parameter. This example used the FL3 channel plotted against time to select singlet beads. Exclusion of doublets is critical in accurate analysis of the bead concentration. Events that meet all four ice age parameters are then assessed for viability. Viable cells are able to exclude the dye and thus appear negative for 7AAD. To calculate the CD34 positive HPC concentration, we take the ratio of viable CD34 positive HPC events to the number of singlet bead events and multiply it by the Cal factor or known bead concentration. In this example, the sample or product would have 121.7 viable CD34 cells per microliter. In summary, the ISH protocol is a single platform flow assay that determines the absolute concentration of viable CD34 positive hematopoietic progenitor cells in a sample or product. This value can be used with the product volume to determine the total CD34 positive HPC content or further calculated to determine the dose per patient body weight of an HPC product. Thank you for joining me on this Pearl of Laboratory Medicine 
on enumeration of CD34 positive hematopoietic progenitor cells by flow cytometry. For more like this, as well as articles, podcasts, and more, please visit the Trainee Council at traineecouncil.org.